another person shot and killed in Roanoke. This marks the city's 24th homicide of the year. And 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh joins us now. She's here in the studio. So Kelly, what are our city leaders doing to try and end this violence? Yeah, that's a big question. This is now the 24th homicide in Roanoke just this year, and it's still an ongoing investigation with no suspects arrested or named. Now the community is wondering when this will come to a stop. First responders were notified of the crash at around 2.30 in the afternoon on Saturday along Aspen Street. When the police arrived, the man was unresponsive and had been shot multiple times. He died at the scene. Police say the evidence suggests the shooting happened near the intersection of Tremont Drive and Fairland Road Northwest. It was frustrating and disappointing, but even through that, I'm encouraged by what I think is going to happen. That being the initial 30-day initiative called Cease Fire Victory in the Valley. It's a new program hoping to end gun violence in the Star City. And we want to look on the side of prevention. What can we do to prevent it? And that's a challenge now. That's a challenge for most urban cities. But we want to look at that and we think we have the tools in place to make that happen. And that's why I'm so encouraged by what's going to be happening later in the week. Mayor Lee tells us he needs the community to get involved and help with the safety of our city. We're going to continue to strive and make Roanoke a safe community. And uh, that's, that's all you can ask. And I just want the community to become involved. Roanoke City Sheriff's Office and Roanoke City Police Department are partnering with local pastors and city leaders to get Cease Fire on its feet and actively taking a part in this campaign. We're not quitting. We're not quitting. We're going to continue to strive and make Roanoke a safe community. The Cease Fire Initiative is set to launch this Friday and the community is encouraged to join city leaders and law enforcement in ending gun violence. In the studio, Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.